Welcome to my No Dog, Dog Licks channel. Today we're going to look at the newer uh, X10 teleprompter. I'm going to unbox it and we'll see what's inside. So, we have some nice little packing. We have a manual. A boot, some uh, dehumidifier, looks like a lens cleaner or something, a stand, oh, they actually do inspection. Three little cubes or square rectangles, we have squares. Um, look like they have a push out cutout on in them. A uh, another piece of plastic, or it's well packed to protect itself. So, here we have a teleprompter. And also in the box, we have a little another piece, a bar with some screws, and a third piece in a box. So that's everything in the box. Put that off to the side. With other foam. I don't need the insulator or the uh, sorry I had a cough. Alright, so now we're going to take a look and see how to put this together. Structure. Very interesting. Ah, oh, okay, this box here. This is a remote. So we'll see how that works with the teleprompter. Get some of this unboxed and kind of put out of the way. In this box, we have a little steam. Yeah, that's a cute little thing. Let's just set off the side for right now. Give, give me a second and we'll look at how to put this together. For under a hundred dollars, I think this is a fairly well-made little unit. Um, on the back side, we have this piece here, and that apparently blocks the window, keeps light out, 
looks like there's a centerpiece here that could be popped out. And looking at it, it is the exact same size as these. So these, let's see if I can show you by shining some light on it. You can see this piece pops out. Uh, I'm not ready to pop that out yet. But this one has a slit. This one has a bigger rectangle. And then this one has a circle. So, I'm not sure which one I actually need yet. So, we'll put them back together. Now, I will be using this with my Galaxy uh, S21. Um, the bigger boot. I'm going to say that's for a bigger camera. Um, if you're going to use a bigger camera, you're probably going to mount it on this bar. Put the camera out here, the teleprompter on the other end, and then this would join the two together and keep the light out. So, let's see what we can do here. We'll have to do a little more reading. Let's do a little exploratory assembly. Looking at how this is made. This end is made for either your cell phone or you can make it for a tablet. Um, we'll look at that in a little while. This part here, I'm going to say that's made for a cell phone on the back. Again, it opens up and you can position it as needed. This, if you're using a cell phone, let's see. You would probably have it like that. You would use this one to keep it close. And I would think you would use the appropriate slot to go into the center so you can keep out as much light as possible. Now, uh, that's for a cell phone setup. If you're not using a cell phone, I would think you take this piece off. And we can unscrew this. And we can take the bar.
we have a way to put the build in you have the bar, the teleprompter, the stand, and I'm going to say this would be for your camera. You could adjust it in and out. And you can adjust it up and down. Not bad for the cost. It's very good. The camera will go in there, and you pull the drawstrings, and that looks pretty, pretty good. Little. So <clears throat> the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to take this back apart. We're going to set it up for the way I'm going to do it, which is going to be the cell phone. So this part of the bar I'm not going to use. Uh, again, this is made for a camera. So. This time I'm going to be using this, and let's see. Yeah, that's right there. That's all I got as far as what I'm going to be using. Okay, I'm intending to use this tablet on here. But from what I see, it won't or won't fit. So let's investigate a little bit more. Okay, I'm not going to be using the camera, so I'm taking that away. I will be using this part. So I'll just put that in there just to protect it for time. Let's let's look at this part. I can't believe they wouldn't give me something big enough to do the tablet. And I, I knew it said it would. Oh, right here. Right on that part there. There's a little button. I hope you can see that. If I push on that button, let's see. Oh my goodness, look at that. I think I might hold this thing now. Yep, I'll hold it. Not bad. I'm gonna put the tablet off to the side. And we'll continue with this a little bit more. So, if I want to get out, I have to turn it this way to be able to fit the tablet in there. So, let's hook that back up. All right. Um, This back on the stand. Oh. 
It's very interesting. Now, let's get it ready for the camera. Hmm. I'm thinking I'm going to have to go on this side. Looking at my my cell phone right at the moment. So. So now we got the cell phone. And I've got to figure out what I'm going to do here. It's got the bigger piece. I'm thinking I gotta do that. Okay. That pops out. This pops in. And I'm going to go borrow my wife's cell phone and see if I can put this together. Well, after prying it out of her whole dead fingers, she gave up and again gave it to me. Uh, a little bit of a fight, maybe. All right. So, again, it's sitting this way. So, I'm going to say we're going to have to take that block out, turn it sideways, put it back in, drop it down, so you can see I'm going dropping it down that way and cell phone would go in this way but uh, uh, doesn't look right to me All right. Don't know if you can see that in there, but we have to do a little adjustment. It's getting there. This will have to go down some more. So, let's see how that looks. Well, oh. that's not bad. It's, can you see that in there? So, we're down. We can move over here. And the camera is in the window. So we have part of the teleprompter ready. Now we've got to try to put that tablet on there. So, <clears throat> there we go. That doesn't look too bad.
which you see it straight on. So, let's see. That's a lot of weight. That little stand seems to be holding it up pretty good. Just got to get it set right. All right. Let's take off this. Oh. Didn't quite get it tight enough. I'm going to take off that protective covering. Now, can you see how it looks inside? That's pretty good. So, now, I'm going to do a little more reading on how to use the tablet. All right, doing a little more reading. I have to turn this on. You know, I turned it around the wrong way. No power button. <coughs> All right. That appears to be turned the right way. Power button's on. The remote does not come with batteries, so you have to put your own batteries in there. So, I'm going to go run and grab some batteries. All right. We've got two uh, AAA batteries. All right. All right. Now, let's see. Um, Turn on laptop. You can see that it <coughs> so I want to show you is setting this up. I had downloaded their teleprompter app and it's upside down. So, first thing we gotta do is do the settings. Settings, pals. Okay, user control panel. Remain label. Cloud service counts. Remote control management. Let's do remote control management. Okay, now if you fail to add a new device. Please try unpairing in settings and device again in the app. Cancel pairing. Okay. Let's see. You have to hold this. Cancel pairing. Device name Bluetooth. It's turned on. Device name unidentified. That's a lot of weight that 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 tablet. But it seems like it's holding it pretty good. All right. So this hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Now, 
decided to do this using our laptop or tablet off of it. So now Bluetooth on. Uh, all right. Uh, remote management settings. There we go. settings no I don't want that Ooh, shut that down all right YouTube isn't responding to close app okay settings user control panel remote management if you have a remote okay. all right seize it connected we are now connected Disconnected. Why are you disconnected? All right. I don't know what that is. Disconnected. Let's get rid of that. Remove remote control. Remove. Okay, let's try this again. We're capturing. I'm going to add it. And it's connected. All right. Now, uh, cloud services. Security, remote, suggestions, about us, and settings. All right. So, what I need to do is go back. All right. Let's see what we can do here. If this, I turn back around. As you can see, it is upside down. Now, I'm going to tr try one here and just see. Ah, okay. backwards All right well oh, that's the size so I can put as much on there as I want There has to be a way to change directions. Hmm.
looking at the application, there is a way to change it. So now, um, and then I need to flip it. All right, we need to flip this. <coughs> One more time. And I don't something wrong. Oh. There we go, set. Again, this is the X10 model of the newer teleprompter. I, I say it's a pretty quality product for the price. For somebody who just needs a teleprompter that's easy so you can look straight into the camera and know what to say. I think this is a good buy. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hope that St. Nicholas would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds with while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mom in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there rose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what's the matter. Away to the window I flew like a slat, flash, tore up the shutters, and this is just way too fast. So in conclusion, I'm going to say that... This is no dog licks. Have a good day. Welcome to my no dog licks channel. Today we're going to do an unboxing of the new newer X10. Uh, it, it's a teleport. Um, X10. Tele teleporter? Is that what it is? <laughs>